Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at one of the tutorials of how to install a beta ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. Let's begin. Now to do this, you just need a Redmi 4A with 50% battery and around 2-3 to GB of free internal storage and you need to first go to en.miui.com because of course we need to download the latest developer or beta rom for this particular device so once you go to this particular website and click on download you will have a list of all mi devices just locate the redmi 4a and click on the device there you go all right now over here you will have redmi for a global and for a china as this is a global device we are using we will download the developer rom for the redmi for a global wait for the download to complete and once the download is complete just connect your phone to the computer using the usb cable and then you just need to copy the file over to the internal memory of your phone Now, while this is done, you know, let me just give you a little insight on what a beta ROM is. It is basically a testing ROM, which is as good as stable, but with some new features, which may be introduced in a stable ROM at a later stage. As well, it is recommended that if you're planning to unlock the bootloader on any Xiaomi device, you be on a beta ROM so that it is much easier to unlock the bootloader. So that is the reason you might want to, you know, give this particular ROM a try. And the best part is even if you are on a locked bootloader, if you've never modified your device, still you can install a beta ROM. And whenever this device gets Android 7.0 Nougat, it will be the beta ROM which will be getting it first. Now, as the file is copied, as you can see, I'm on a stable ROM right now. So that is MIUI 8.2.9. The latest update so then click on the three dots at the top right hand corner click on choose update package and select the file we just copied that is 7.5.25 this may vary for you because you always need to ensure you download the latest beta ROM now make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G while you do this because it will check and verify the file and once that is done it will start decrypt it will start decrypting the file now this process will take about 5 to 10 minutes so leave the phone alone and please do not pack panic if it takes long now then you'll get this notification so it's very essential to back up all your data because everything will be erased including your internal storage and once you click on erase and update anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes is what it will take so be patient while the entire process is done make sure you have at least more than 50% battery. Enjoy the music while the update is installed. Now after the update is installed, you will be taken to the home screen or the setup screen. Just go through the setup and once you're done setting up your device, you are good to go. Now 
one of the highlights of a beta rom is there is very less clutter it is you know i have observed this over the years that beta roms are relatively faster compared to stock roms i don't know what is the reason but probably some new features or some good optimizations that are not yet introduced in the stable rom so if we go to settings we go to about and if we look at the rom version it is beta so that was the guide for you guys and you can always get ot updates of beta roms if you like the video like share and subscribe stay tuned for more amazing videos goodbye